Have you heard about the Smart Demo lesson? It's actually pretty exciting. Hey everybody, it's Marilyn Brown from VIP Kid. I wanted to talk to you today about the Smart Demo lesson. It's a brand new, super awesome way to get your interview done through the convenience of your smartphone. So many times people get a little bit nervous when they're recording themselves on the computer. There can be all these different pieces of technology you're not quite used to, but I know everybody's pretty used to taking pictures of themselves on their phone. So the Smart Demo Lesson is a really great way that incorporates what you already know and feel confident with, with this application process. If you don't have a hiring coach, please add my referral code. It's Meryl0018. Okay, so the smart demo lesson. If you are ready for your interview, you can do this through the convenience of your own phone. You've got it with you anyway, so why not do it? Okay, so here's what you do. So the very first step of the application process is to input your basic info. If you meet the three basic requirements, then go ahead and download the app, it looks like this, and fill out the form. This goes through a computer processing system, so if you meet those three requirements, you've got your bachelor's degree, you've had at least one year of teaching experience, and please select, select where it says one to three years. If you select 12 months, it's gonna think you don't have enough teaching experience. So it's really like one year plus. It will be an automatic fail if you select between six to 12 months. Okay, so <laughs> bachelor's degree, one year of teaching experience or more, and you're eligible to work in the United States or Canada. Remember, you can live anywhere in the world, but you know your status. If you are able to work in the US or Canada, then you should definitely apply. If you need a hiring coach, please email me or just go ahead and click the link below and get started. In the basic info section, there is a place to add a referring teacher. If you don't have a hiring coach or if you don't know somebody who is going to help you through this process, you can add me. I would be happy to help you. I've got a ton of free resources like this video and even more to help you through every step of this process and get you started in the classroom. Once you pass the basic info section, you'll actually be able to see a demo pending section. It's the second step of the application process you will actually be prompted to do a demo lesson. Now you're not gonna open it and just start recording. VIP Kid wants to set you up for success. So they're going to teach you about five main aspects of a great VIP Kid teacher. These five aspects are the learning objectives, repetition, speaking speed and language, TPR, total physical response, and modeling. So these five aspects are actually broken down and talked about in both little paragraphs and then videos that will instruct you about what they are and what is expected of you. Please don't rush through the preparation material. This material is there to set you up for success. If you have questions, email me, let me know, and I can help explain or give examples of what they mean. But the example videos that they posted in the app are actually super clear and helpful. When you feel confident enough to record your demo lesson, go ahead and take the quiz. There's a button at the bottom that says start my quiz. Go ahead and click that and it's a five question quiz. The questions are timed. You have one minute and 30 seconds to answer each question, so read them carefully. If your time runs out on that question, then it's just going to get skipped and you will get it wrong. And if you're trying to just look through the questions so that you can go back and decide on the answers later, please be aware that when you log back in to retake a quiz, it's probably going to be a handful of different questions. So be prepared for that and know the material. Those five characteristics of being a great VIP kid teacher, they're not just there as quiz questions. Those are actually the five things that the interviewers are going to want to see in that two and a half minute demo lesson. So. You want to, before you start recording, look at the objective of the slide. When you're ready to record your lesson, it will go into a split screen. The top half will be the slide that you're teaching, and then the bottom half of your phone will be you. It's going to be the selfie cam open on your face. So you want to have your phone set up. Um, if you've got a tripod or like a pop socket, um, you can put it at the bottom of your phone and stand it up 
or just lean it up against something so that you have a good angle. Remember, you wanna have your camera at eye level, so if you can stack something up and have your phone up on that, that would actually be helpful. So the first tip is the lesson objective. So when you open up to that window, you probably don't just wanna hit record. Look at the lesson slide. At the very bottom, you're going to see what the lesson objective is. It's gonna tell you exactly what you're supposed to be teaching the student. Think about what you saw in the videos they gave and apply that to what you're about to do. Remember to use appropriate speaking speed. So you're speaking to someone who's learning English as a second language, speak just as slowly as they showed you in those videos. You still want to use proper grammar. Just because you're speaking slowly doesn't mean you should drop words. So say every word that's on the slide for the student to say. Repetition is key in learning a second language. So make sure to look for that word that's at the top of the slide say it and point to your mouth. This is the TPR, okay? And then prompt the student to repeat. You have to pretend this because there's not actually anybody there. Then do it again. So run, run, run. Okay, so that is the repetition that they're going to be looking for. When you act it out, this is prompting the student to do the same thing, and that is TPR. That's total physical response, and it's engaging the student in something physical to help them remember a word that they're learning. I'll link the video I made about it below. And then finally, modeling. In order to have your student complete that objective of the lesson, you need to model what you want them to do. So if it's simply speaking and repeating, then that's the modeling portion. If it's an interactive slide, then you need to model how they can drag and drop things on that particular slide. In the Smart Demo lesson, there's no interactive functions, so you won't have to worry about that. Most likely, it's going to be the TPR and the repetition of the sentence or word that they want you to model. When you're finished recording your lesson, you can submit by pressing this button right here. Otherwise, if you press the back button, you'll be able to re-record it without having to retake your quiz. Remember not to leave the app during this time, otherwise you'll have to take the quiz again. Once it's all submitted, you'll be led to an analytics page and find out how you did on those five quiz questions. The only thing you'll have to wait for is for an interviewer to look over your video. Well, hopefully this video has helped to clear up any mystery there might be about the Smart Demo lesson. I'm actually really excited about this Smart Demo lesson. It's super convenient and really, really user-friendly. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will get back to you as soon as I can, or just go ahead and email me. That's in the description box too. Keep in mind, if you don't want to worry about all of that and you need more one-on-one -on -one attention, click the link below and apply, and then I can talk to you about the FastPass coaching days because that's actually a super helpful way to get all your questions answered, work through the technology, and get some free props and printables right from a FastPass coach. Talk to me about that if you're interested. Um, if I see you in my portal, I will definitely recommend it. Hopefully the Smart Demo Lesson is a great way to get you started and to get you right through those first two steps of the interview process. If this video has helped you out, please hit like, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and as always, happy teaching fam.